Money Vikings collectibles here. Welcome and cue the Star Wars Darth Vader music. It's time to do an analysis of assessing Star Wars collectibles. Thanks so much for joining today, everybody. I wanted to basically talk about the different tiers of Star Wars collectibles. As most of you know, collecting Star Wars figures is highly lucrative and Star Wars memorabilia is highly lucrative. And you know, if many of us had held on to the action figures in their packages from when we were kids and we didn't uh, destroy them like Luke Skywalker's nose here, well, let's just put it this way. We'd probably be sitting on a fortune and we could retire off of it. It's that good. But it doesn't mean it's too late. I still believe that long-term Star Wars figures and collectibles are, in my book, in my opinion, and in my assessment, a sound investment. But you gotta know what you're getting into. Uh, like anything with collectibles, it's about condition. So I have here many of the action figures, and you know, there's just different levels of condition. So. The ones that I have here in the actually very collectible Star Wars case with the Darth Vader, I will show you this. This has the, uh, this was really quite the case, and this is probably worth, oh, I'd imagine this case with even these beat up figures uh, would sell for about three to $300 or $400 at this point. But you do have this really epic and iconic case here. And many of you had this as a kid uh, or have seen it. But uh, what I want to show you is the different levels of collectability here. So first of all, uh, again, it's all about condition. You know, the lowest condition is going to be something that's just beat up. So this guy's been discolored. He's been beat up. Uh, as I showed you before, the Luke Skywalker has his nose chopped off. It doesn't mean anybody would uh, pay nothing for it. But, you know, you're probably talking a couple bucks, you know. Now, as a collection probably worth something but there's another tier so if you get up into like the five to the ten dollar range you can actually quite easily at this point get these bags these bag figures that are in pretty good condition and like I said they're probably in the ten dollar range here's a Darth Vader that's looking pretty good uh, right there there's a Han Solo that's looking pretty good. I think I got that one for five bucks, but that was a while ago. So uh, that's a good example of that. They get better from here and they're put in plastic cases. And sometimes if they have all the, uh, you know, the lightsaber, the uh, laser guns, the equipment that they came with, then they're, they're going to, uh, they're gonna go up in value and they're gonna be a nice display piece. Then there's the creme de la creme, and that is something like this. So this is something to bank on. If you've got one that is in its original card, it's in good condition, I don't know how something like this survived all this time. Uh, this was 97 cents at Toys R Us, probably back in the 80s at some point. Uh, this is a 1984 collectible. So, you know, almost, what, almost a 40-year-old uh, collectible at this point. Uh, it is in uh, awesome condition, as you can see. A little bit of warping, you know, a little bit. The, um, you can see here the yellowing of the plastic that contains the Han Solo, but it's never been used. The, everything is intact. A little bit of, you know, minor scratches around the edges. But this would command quite a quite a pretty penny. And anything like this. So if you're at some garage sale or rummage sale and you find these, these especially the ones from the 80s, uh, pick them up, <laughs> buy them. Because um, they're worth anywhere from $500 to thousands of dollars at this point. So that's going to be the top tier right there. But like I said, people do collect... Um, you know, the, uh, the the figures that have been unboxed, they've been played with, and just bring back all that nostalgia. So, you know, there's a little preview of the toys. Um, there's also newer sort of specialty items that come out. You have these, um, 
Here's, for example, the Star Wars Black series. These are the little, you know, the more sophisticated uh, figurines and toys that come in these really clever boxes. So that's pretty cool. I think sometimes they're limited edition. Um, I'm not sure how much this one is worth, maybe 50 bucks. I don't know, that might be my guess. Um, will it go up in value? Maybe, yeah, maybe. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be the stuff from the 80s that's gonna really, really, really hold its value and be super valuable because it's just so rare. Um, most kids who got something like this for Christmas, uh, you know, or for a birthday, pretty much tore it open and had years of fun and years of imaginative play. Uh, they did not keep them. There wasn't the thought of collecting back then with toys. I don't think anybody even thought of that. Uh, there was no thought that, that this would be worth a bunch of money later on. Everyone was like, you know, they're just little, I'm sure somebody was like, they're little pieces of plastic, you know, from a movie, who cares? Well, they're worth a fortune. So, that's with the toys. There's other stuff as well. Um, I think some of the Star Wars Lego sets can be valuable if they're in their box. So that's a whole series in itself. Legos in themselves are valuable, but again, you're talking about the older ones and the more vintage pieces. Uh, newer stuff is less valuable a lot of times. Um, Star Wars is also in, in, you know, in the comic book world. So here's Return of the Jedi number one from the 80s. So this is a uh, key book from the from the 1980s. Um, I think it's a pretty, I really like the graphic quality of the cover and the colors they used. I think it's, I just would not have imagined they would use these colors, but they did. So I think that's pretty cool. So you wanna keep an eye out for that book. And in, in the modern era, I would say things like The Mandalorian, it's so popular. And this is Mandalorian 1, which uh, may even still be on newsstands or just went off newsstands. Um, but I think this one is bound to have some value. Uh, this character is obviously extremely popular. So uh, I hope that was a good overview for everyone and, uh, you know, enjoy your collecting. Again, collecting is not just about the finances. Uh, there's, there has to be a special spark in it for you or something that you really care about with these figurines. A lot of times there's a nostalgia to it. It takes us back to uh, probably a more innocent and simpler time, right? And uh, our world revolved around these figures. So I think that's a pretty cool thing to uh, think about that. Um, and along the way, you're enjoying something, you're enjoying a piece of pop culture. And I, I think in the long run, you can actually make some money as well. So happy collecting and uh, hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe uh, our channel. We, we do all things comics, collectibles, trading cards. Uh, we also do investments um, over at our true, true wealth money Vikings. Uh, dot com. So uh, check that out. And uh, again, we're all about uh, building wealth and health and sharing a lot of ideas that help people lead a life of true wealth. Take care and thank you.